Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be using the swap base once again versus Lieutenant Hammerman. We're going to see how well this one goes. I like doing this base once in a while and a couple additions to my base recently. I have two, I now have two max level rocket launchers which are going to help a lot. I have those in the back and I have one of these rocket launchers up here and for those of you for those of you that are new to this challenge, basically I created a square base and after every attack I get, if I fail the attack, I get three swaps. So I could swap like this and the boom cannon, that's one, and then I could swap like this mortar and this boom cannon, that's two, and so on and so forth. So it's a ton of fun to do and I have three of those and then I try again and if I get three losses in a row then I end the challenge and I lose basically so let's just jump into this where is it? okay here it is um, I'm super pumped this is a super fun challenge definitely do it if you guys have the chance so currently there's, there's a lot of background noise in my neighborhood so hopefully you guys don't hear it also Elgato just released a new update to their uh, program yeah, their program, so hopefully everything's working, everything's clear. They made a couple changes, a couple big changes, so hopefully, I'm just hoping everything is working right now. So, anyway, he's going to come in. I'm just going to speed this up because this is going to be kind of a long video, depending on how far we actually get with him. And hopefully, we'll be able to get up to stage 6, beat stage 6, but I doubt it because we're usually not able to get that far. So, that's just something to note. And there we go. We just successfully defeated stage one. We got an intel, which is good for my task force. And here we go. We're jumping right back in. We're going to put on times four again just to speed it up. He's coming to Warriors, and I probably will watch the next one on times two. But these first couple stages, guys, are really fast. And I forgot how bad this base was, actually. So we're definitely going to have to make a few additions. Um... The rule, also the rules are I can't move any of the mines, so hopefully I won't need to because if I do, then well I lose the challenge. So, okay, I want to start shooting more collabs with other Boom Beach YouTubers, guys. How would you guys like that more challenges? Because I feel like the Boom Beach community is kind of dying, and I feel like something like that would actually bring it back to life. Um, although we are not the biggest YouTubers, if we were able to get like. Maybe some bull cable. Um, maybe Benny's World might want to do it with us. Bull cable, Benny's World. Uh, chances are none of the bigger Boom Beach YouTubers like uh, Reversal or Bentham or Nick. Definitely not those. But yeah, they will never want to do a collab with us. Um, but maybe, well, maybe we could get some of the smaller Boom Beach YouTubers and we could just shoot like challenges. Um, that'd be kind of fun. Like the challenges that Jimmy and I used to do. And then a loser dare. Yeah. Kind of like what Reversal used to do on his channel a long, long time ago. Um, but yeah, these grenadiers are just lasting. Dang it, the medic. Okay. The medic can't heal them fa that fast. So there we go. We successfully defeated Lieutenant Hammerman, stage number three. And we got a power rod, a marshmallow stick, and an intel. And we only lost. We didn't lose any. I was looking at the losses, and I'll be like, wow, we lost a lot. But no. He lost him, not me, so that's good. Put it on time two because uh, these troops are kind of slow. Not the warriors, but the tanks are super slow. And guys, there will be double upload today. I know we haven't been good with double uploads. I don't know where Jimmy is. Jimmy's away. He didn't really update me on that, but he is not home right now. He's like away. But there will be double uploads to m today for you guys. Uh, there's going to be a Clash Royale tournament later today on Saturday for me. And I'm going to be recording that and post that. Uh, that's going to be a ton of fun in our clan, absolute. Uh, we are like oh, 200 in the leaderboard right now, so 200 in the global or something like that. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. So I'm hoping we could beat this stage because if we could beat this stage, uh, that would be amazing. That would be just amazing, guys. Okay, it looks like we will beat this one, definitely. These rocket launchers are so OP at the back, guys, just draining all those troops down. Now, we probably won't be able to beat the next one uh, with this base design, so we have to watch out and kind of make sure, like, look at your directions he's coming in at. He does have a Scorcher, so we'll see if he drops that first. He does. He drops stuff on my towers. Yes, okay, nothing broke. Um, so definitely, if we have to swap, we are going to be moving up 
our rocket launchers a little bit and we're gonna move a bunch more boom cannons up to the front because that scorcher has to die ASAP uh, yeah we need we need to kill completely kill this first wave before the second wave comes in so we definitely need to take down that scorcher scorcher is still alive and now all this power is just gonna be hooked onto that scorcher and that scorcher is just gonna drop so fast okay I really want these boom cannons to onto the medics because if the medics stay alive guys that's just awful the medics cannot stay alive okay um, more troops are coming in it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to beat this now it's good that we have our rocket launchers in the back our boom cannons have to go work on those tanks on the left hand side there's just too many medics too many medics way too many medics okay oh well that was a pretty good I, I would say that was a pretty good uh, defense so I mean I just have to move some stuff around I gotta defeat that first wave before any other waves come in so what we're gonna do is that boom cannon was kinda pointless so we're gonna swap him with uh, let's top it with the gold storage actually and then that is so many useless buildings so I'm just gonna be moving all these useless buildings up so that was two and we have one more we're gonna swap that good so we have some splash on those riflemen and that was one loss so if we fail two more times then that's the end of the challenge we're putting end times two again because we kinda know what's happening now and that boom God, that scorcher is staying alive oh, well, uh, if I can move those mines guys we'd probably be able to beat this uh, because I could definitely position those mines but the scorcher goes down finally and now everything's just hooked on it's looking good it's looking a lot better but now the warriors are coming in which is not good I need to take those tanks down on the left hand side the medics it's the medics guys it's the medics I'm not even sure that was even better I don't even know if that was better or not okay see those rocket launchers just can't do the damage they need to wow the medics are just too strong okay I, I need to see when the medics come in because the medics is actually when we start failing. Yeah, that was definitely better. But let me just see here. Wait, was that a was that a bottle? No, it wasn't. Oh man. I can't wait till I find a bottle. I haven't gotten a bottle yet. I made a video a long time ago in a galaxy that was very far away. No. I uh yeah. Okay, so first wave, no no medics yet. We only have one more try. Okay, so he lands that boat of medics right there. Um, any others? No. There's no other medics after that. So, it's the second wave, and the only way we're going to be able to beat that is if we take down the first wave fast enough. So, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to make some changes here. We we are going to take a different approach and put stuff uh, around where the warriors come in. Stuff that kills warriors fast. We're going to swap. Okay, that was our third shot. Third swap, so we're just gonna swap that. Good. Uh, okay, so this is our last try. So if we fail this, guys, we lost the challenge. Well, obviously we're not gonna win this with this base, but if we fail this, then it's just not looking good. I'm just glad he doesn't have any like artillery barrages like in the battle. Like there are some before. I'm not even sure if, if they're allowed to put them in the battle, but that scorcher definitely died a lot faster. Yeah, he definitely died a lot faster, which is good. The flame just going ham, and now the medics are coming in, which is not good at all. The goal was to kill as many riflemen as we possibly could before the medics came in, and I would say we kind of failed with that because there are still some. And really, the only way that those are going to go down. Okay, yes, he is dropping artillery, and he kind of killed his own troops, to be honest. Okay. Oh, well. Um, okay, so now these warriors are coming in, and that's what I have all these machine gun I mean all his flames down here just to help clear these warriors down and it's not looking good it's actually looking a lot worse I don't know why but yeah it's looking worse I don't I think it's that rocket launcher yeah it's not looking good at all we're definitely gonna lose this challenge but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna be looking and seeing which base got the best results or something like that I think if I would have moved that one shot launcher back here, that would have actually been a good idea. But alas, I did lose the challenge. It was a ton of fun. So, yeah. I mean, I'm. I don't know. This last one might have been the best. <laughs> definitely the best, I think. Yeah, we definitely killed a lot more. But we're going to see which one we lost or we killed the most troops on. 
And yeah, we're just gonna go from there, you know? We didn't we didn't beat them, which is totally fine. Um okay. So the first one we lost or we killed 250 riflemen and some tanks. This one we killed a little less riflemen, but more tanks. Less medics. Huh, I didn't even notice that. Way less medics. So the first attack was actually better than the second attack. <laughs> wow. Um, and then this last attack was definitely the best attack. We killed almost all of the riflemen. We killed uh, four of the tanks. There were still five left. And we killed some medics. Actually, the first attack might have been... No, the first attack was like as good as the last attack. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video after all. I uh, love making these swap challenges. If you guys have a base you want me to try with Hammerman, just post it down in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace, 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 peace. Bye, 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 bye.